There may come a time when we need to part ways with an employee, and when this happens, we'll need to log into UKG to terminate that employee. First, we'll log into UKG and we'll click on My Team, then My Employees. Next, the My Employees window will open and we'll be able to search by the last name or even the first name to find the employee that we need to terminate. For this example, you can see that we've entered the last name of the employee that we'll be terminating. After we type in the last name of the employee that will be terminated, we'll click search. This will bring up any employees that have that last name. Once we click on the employee's name that we are going to terminate, it will bring up their profile page. If you look on the right hand side of the page, you'll see a link called terminate employee under things I can do. Once we click on Terminate Employee, this will bring us to the employee's termination page. From here, we have the termination checklist in the center of the page. We'll want to make sure that all of these items have indeed been completed. The first, contacting HR to verify if the termination should occur. By this point in the process, we would have already had those conversations with HR, so we would just want to check mark that they do indeed know and they have approved this termination. The next is that we will have the associate complete the letter of resignation. Here you can see the path in UKG under myself and my company, and then electronic forms and LOR for letter of resignation. Next, we'll collect the associate's ID badge and we'll destroy that on their last day. We'll also want to make sure that we collect the key fob, any keys, and also the company shirts from the employee. Next, we'll complete an RFP, a request for personnel. This will allow the recruiting team to get your job ad posted online. Then we'll notify IT, facilities, ops, and accounts payable with the associate's full name and their last day. Lastly, you'll want to submit any commissions to the regional and then be sure to enter any on-call tickets if there are any. Now next, you'll see in the yellow box here on the screen that we have termination details. Once you fill in the date for termination, that will automatically fill in the last day worked as well as the paid through date. The next thing you'll need to enter is the termination reason. So use the drop down box to find the most accurate description as to why this employee was terminated. From this point, your last step is simply to click save. Thank you.